Basically, now that I have the actual booth up, um, before the video's out, I'll definitely show you how it pressurizes. Um, but actually, at this particular moment, I'm actually going to be hanging the lights in the inside and wiring them up. So, in my old shop, um, and I'll show you, I'll put a link to these in the description below. But these are the lights I'm using the Hypercon uh, magnetic retrofit. I won't be using the magnetic part. But these uh, are very, very easy to use, um, easy to mount. They come with mounting points on each of them. So you can actually screw them in to wherever, or they do have these magnets. Um, in my old spot, my, my booth was actually made out of uh, metal, so it was a lot easier to mount them. I'll be mounting these lights on different various points on the PVC piping. So it's gonna be a little bit different of application, um, but, um, they come with these ballasts, and each ballast powers two lights, plugs into these little connectors, and then you have to wire the actual ballast into a power source. I'm not going to get into the whole electric part of it, but I am going to show some footage of me actually hanging the lights. Um, basically, um, I have about 24 lights total. Um, I had eight already. I ordered two packs of eight give me 16 more so yeah let's get started So, I got, I'm a little excited. So, I got about half, maybe two thirds of the lights wired up. I've probably been working on it for the past four hours. Let me see, what time is it? I've been working on it for, yeah, roughly four hours, man. Um, but part of it was actually hanging the lights. About two hours hanging all the lights where I wanted them. And then the second part of the two hours was pretty much literally wiring them in. So all the ceiling ones I have ran and wired and I plugged it in where I wired it so I could plug it in and test it. So let's see how bright it is, see what it looks like. space you know what's crazy the whole crazy thing about how bright it is right now I only have like half the lights wired up I still have all the ones on the bottom this is this is only the top I still have all the ones on the bottom to wire up too wow crazy man hey again if you if you like these lights link in the description to buy these below go check them out man Jeez. Alright, well, I guess I'll be back when I have all of them wired up and we'll see how bright it really is.
mean, this joint is so bright, it don't make no sense. That's crazy. This is what 24 LEDs will do for you. No, eight, eight, no, eight, six, yeah, 24. 24 LED strips, man, all around the booth. I got one in each corner. I had to do the back a little bit different because I don't have a PVC pipe going across. Um, I don't have it going across. So I had to put the, like I did on this side, I put those on the PVC facing, so that'll be like the front of the car. But since I don't have PVC running on the bottom, I just put them right here on the sides. So, but hey, it was a lot of work, but it's worth it because you can't paint what you can't see, brother. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I definitely have more content on the booth and the shop and, and all that. But uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and uh, you see that right there. Yeah, go ahead and hit that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you.